What's up, guys? So today we're going to talk about two completely unrelated topics. First and foremost, we're going to talk about She-Hulk coming to the game. There's not a lot of information known about this thus far, but the Marvel Strike Force official social media accounts have made a couple official statements. So we'll cover those at the end of this video. And we're also going to talk about character stats. Um, in short, basically, we compiled a list of the characters with all their stats from msf.gg, and then we weighted their stats uh, both by percentile and then depending on the stat. So, for example, health and damage is worth more than uh, armor and resistance. And so we have that stat sheet, and I'm actually going to list off the top 10 characters in terms of just raw stats, uh, which I think some of the entries might uh, surprise some people. So that's what we're going to do. So let's jump into it. All right, so first we're gonna talk about the character stats and uh, just to let you know how we've weighted them, we have every character at seven red star fully maxed, except obviously Ultimus, we only have at five red star and Ultron and we have at no red star. And then we've taken their max stats, we are not taking synergy into account. If you guys like this video and this list and what this information is actually good for and you want us to do another version where we do take their team synergies into account, we can do that. But otherwise this is a solo list and we're just gonna be basically rattling off which characters have the best stats across the board. So a couple other notes, um, we have health, and damage weighted fully. And then we have armor, focus, and resistance weighted at half the level of importance of raw health and damage. So that's where these stat averages are coming from. Uh, lastly, uh, I'm gonna do two versions of this list, with and without speed. So the one you're about to hear is with speed not factored in. So for getting their speed, just looking at health, damage, armor, focus, resistance, here are the top 10 characters in terms of raw stats. And uh, also, a quick honorable mention, the technical number one best single character is Dark Phoenix. She has the best stats across the board. However, because she's a summon, uh, I'm leaving her off the list, but even the number one character on this team doesn't quite have the same raw stat percentile average as Dark Phoenix, so now you know. But all right, so coming in at number 10, Blob. So the only thing keeping him that low on this list is his focus and he doesn't even use focus so it's not really fair to hold that against him but yeah blob super solid coming in at number 10 coming in at number nine emma frost 10 percent for armor although she gets a significant armor increase when she's in diamond form a lot of those numbers very very impressive so emma just a super solid all-around character coming in at number eight ebony maw 87 percent for focus and 82 percent for resistance very, very impressive, and you know, we'd expect nothing less from the newest legendary character in the game. Coming in at number seven, Symbiote Spider-Man. I didn't know he had such incredibly low resistance, but he does dodge a fair amount and he has tons of self-healing, so it's not too bad. But yeah, Symbiote Spider-Man, a super strong all-around character. Definitely should be in the top 10 as far as the stats. Coming in at number six, and this one may surprise people, Squirrel Girl, 3% for armor, which is not particularly impressive. However, all around, Squirrel Girl has incredibly good stats. So yeah, she actually ranks above Symbiote Spider-Man, Ebony Maw, and Emma Frost in terms of her raw stats. Coming in at number five, an entry that I'm sure a lot of people do not see coming, Ronin the Accuser. So even though his health and his damage aren't crazy, all of his other stats are really, really good. So in terms of just raw stats, and again, we're also not factoring in speed, Ronin uh, in the better half of the top 10 for his raw stats. Coming in at number four, Cull Obsidian. 19th percentile for armor. Surprisingly, his armor's not great. All around, even with not great armor, all of Cull's other stats just really, really high across the board, and it makes sense. I mean, he is just a giant ball of stats, so yeah, that's Cull. We've reached the top three on this version of the list. Coming in at number three, The Thing. Only 18% focus, although he does not use it at all. So considering the only stat that he's deficient in is one that he doesn't use at all, the thing is just incredibly formidable as a wall of stats. So easy inclusion in the top three. Coming in at number two, Dr. Octopus. I think a fair amount of people are overlooking how awesome Doc Ock is gonna be, not just for his kit and his utility, but also for his stats. So even his worst stat is really, really good and you know, obviously his kit is going to back it up too. But yeah, as far as stats, he's just absolutely awesome. And finally, coming in at number one, Black Bolt. 
100% for damage. He is the top damage in the game. So when you take speed out of the equation, which is arguably one of Black Bolt's only mild handicaps, as far as just raw stats, Black Bolt is an absolute monster and is second only to Dark Phoenix if you're gonna count her as a character. So yeah, Black Bolt, absolute monster, easy number one. All right, so now we're gonna run through that same list. However, we are introducing one other stat, and I think this is the more accurate of the two lists. I thought you guys might find that one fun, but uh, I think this is the more accurate of the two lists. We are going to factor in speed, specifically what percentile the character is on for speed, and we are going to weight that as as important as a character's health and damage, which is twice as important as their armor, focus, and resistance for the purposes of this list. Coming in at number 10, Electro. So as far as an across the board average, Electro is indeed a top 10 character as far as raw stats, which is pretty impressive. Coming in at number nine, Proxima Midnight. So the speed doing a good amount of heavy lifting for Proxima here, but when you take that into account and you look at all of her stats across the board, her average is very, very good. And that's why she gets the number nine spot. Coming in at number eight, this one may come as a surprise to some of you, Karnak. Interesting which stats are doing the heavy lifting for Karnak. He does have crazy base damage, although his abilities don't necessarily translate huge amounts of damage. And then his speed and his focus are big factors. So it allows him to do his job pretty well. But yeah, uh, I'm surprised that as far as a, a stat average, Karnak ranks above characters like Proxima and Electro, but sure enough. Coming in at number seven, Black Bolt. He may have been rank one as far as the stat average when you don't factor in speed, but when you do factor in speed, it definitely drops him a few ranks. He's still an incredible character and his stats are still really, really good, but when you factor in his speed, it does sink him down to this spot on the list. Coming in at number six, Captain Marvel. So this is yet another character who's just pretty well-rounded, a bit front-loaded as far as the health and damage and the speed. So with all the major stats being well above average, it's not a surprise that Captain Marvel ranks as highly on the list. Coming in at number five, Ghost Rider. So yet again, Ghost Rider just super solid across the board, uh, well above average health and damage. His armor is a bit low, but that's about it. Everything else about him is well above average and his speed is of course incredible. So again, it's pretty unsurprising that a character like this is indeed in the top five as far as their stat average. Coming in at number four, Ebony Maw. So when you factor in the fact that he is so fast and his stat averages are so good, that is why he's able to grab the number four spot. Down to the top three, coming in at number three, Squirrel Girl. Because everything about her is very above average except for her low armor, when you average out her stats, she does indeed rank in the top three characters stat-wise, absent synergy. Coming in at number two, crowd favorite, Scipio Spider-Man. The fact that he's a very above average character in terms of his speed, combined with the fact that literally all of his stats except his resistance are a healthy amount above average means it's no surprise that he does indeed rank this high. So right about to get to the number one spot, but I do want to mention again that even the character in the number one spot comes in second to Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix, as far as a weighted average of her stats, is still about 3% better on average than even the number one character on this list. So we've omitted her because she is indeed a summon, but Dark Phoenix is technically the best as far as stats on a single unit that you can play. But having said that, coming in at number one, Dr. Octopus. His stats are just way crazy as far as his averages across the board. So yeah, uh, when you factor in speed, just as far as stats, absence of synergy, Doc Ock is the best overall character we've gotten thus far in terms of stats. We're gonna move on now and talk pretty briefly about She-Hulk. I didn't want to not cover She-Hulk, who as you can see here, She-Hulk is confirmed to be coming to the game. But the reason that this video isn't all about She-Hulk is there's not much to say at this time. I am excited for She-Hulk and this was posted by the official Marvel Strike Force Twitter saying Fantastic Four screenshots only. She-Hulk did spend some time as a member of the Fantastic Four in the comics. So it is entirely possible that she is going to uh, add some more options to the Fantastic Four. However, I should also mention this. Someone on Twitter said, please let this mean she synergizes with Fantastic Four and not Young Avengers. And their response was, more details to come. In short, we aim for her to make an existing team more versatile than they already are. So this image would indicate that we should assume she's going to be a fifth for the Fantastic Four, but given that they didn't even want to confirm that despite posting this picture, it is still possible that she will be uh, 
a more versatile member that synergizes with the Young Avengers, but I'm hoping that she'll end up being one of those characters that has very open-ended synergy. Maybe she'll work with hero brawlers, or maybe she'll have some bonus to uh, protectors or, or something like that. You know, could, could be anything, but uh, hopefully she has some open-ended synergy and she finds a comfortable home on uh, a handful of teams. But yeah, that's all we know at this time, but I did want to throw that out there. She'll confirm coming to the game and this is your first look at her, so yeah. Otherwise, that's all I've got for you. So if you want to see more videos like this with the stat breakdowns, uh, let me know in the comments below. We can do a, a bottom 10 if you want to see that, or we can weight the stats differently if you think we should be going about this differently. And then, uh, yeah, if you have any theories as to exactly how and where we will see She-Hulk used, go ahead and leave that in the comments below as well. But I think I've gone on long enough, so thank you guys for checking out this video, and I will see you guys real soon. Until then, peace!